Hello guys, Jed Maniac here, and welcome back to my show today. So today, let's talk about GTA 5 against modders. So with that being said, let's get started then, shall we? So the company called Rockstar Games, the creator of GTA and Red Dead series, had shown some beef on modders. But despite their non-hostility to other modders that they mod, their only target is the third-party developers that they mod. Which last time, 5M, a free multiplayer game that is similar to GTA Online, was wrongfully taken down. Red Dead Redemption 5, a total conversion that was taken down as well. And finally, Open 4, a tool that it can manage to look up in their files while replacing a pedestrian to turn into Iron Man in addition to scripts. Which is awesome. But not when Take 2, the parent of Rockstar Games, taking down this tool for wrongful reasons. And it says here in a statement that Rockstar and Take 2 claim that they have nothing to do with the single player mods. Instead, that they claim that Open 4 hacks and enable recent malicious mods that allow harassment of players to interfere with the GTA Online experience for everybody, which is new to me, but we didn't even have issues with it. Even though without mods, there's a warning for us in open port. Not only that, there's also an option for us in order to disable mods before we go online. Which, they did the right thing. And you've been misunderstood, Rockstar and Take Two. The players didn't even have issues with Open 4. And now this has gone too far. And I know you're trying to help us, Rockstar and Take 2. But believe me, you've been supporting the modding community since GTA 3. Or is it the original GTA? But maybe you're just focusing on consoles instead of PC. Because by the way I see to Rockstar, all I can see in their games is they release it on consoles first. But the older games, however, they release it on PC first. But they didn't even somehow rely on to PC. And if you know why, just leave in the comments down below. But now we're still talking about Rockstar Games and Take 2. The thing is, they only prevented hackers, which it's not an involvement to us, only hackers. Which one of the modders who created the troll conversion in the third party multiplayer client, they took it down. But it's somewhat related to GTA Online, which it causes a bannable offense. And it also affects the player's experience. Like, really Rockstar? As hackers, they can manage to remove GTA Online from their own total conversion. Like in GTA Vice City Stories PC Edition. They said they remove all the assets from San Andreas Traces from its total conversion. And you didn't even care about it. You know? And by the way, no wonder all the players granting GTA 5 negative reviews on Steam. And it's super brutal. And not to mention the anger of the players will not only hear Take 2 and Rockstar, but a petition can let them change. And I know one thing. I don't sometimes blame Take 2 or Rockstar games. It's just because they're too serious of their work. And that's why they're always working hard on it to make a better experience to each player. And it's not only the good graphics are the pros, but a good story with some polishes, new features, and less bugs and glitches. That's their point a bit. And they made great games out of it. With critics and gamers alike, everything is positive. For us with tons of awards that's the proof of being talented memes for rockstar and oh we already know the truth right and it was just a misunderstanding from it and open 4 does not enable malicious mods for gta 5 but there's an option with it like come on rockstar it's a tool not a key gen and we want this tool to mod this game Without Open 4, there's no way we can open their files to replace stuff like new vehicles, range, weapons, textures. It's not even a big of a deal. Like, why can't you just be like the desktop or change? They even supported the modern community and they will always accept total conversions as well. But as part of its support of the modern community, they attempt to help us by implementing the most controversial thing called paid mods but hey they discontinued that however like it's somewhat similar but with a new title for skyrim special edition and fallout 4 only which it sucks 
But hey, if you hear us take two and Rockstar, we just want to give back Open 4 back from us. He's not an hostility to you, but they're just big fans of you. And because of them with, with their tool, we use their tool to put single player mods for everyone to enjoy. Like Iron Man vs Hulk. And it's very important to us to let you know guys that you Dan, Sam, and Take Two, if you really love us, then let Open 4 go. Like really, players can't put mods without the tool. And that's the reason why your games are so awesome. And to be fair, I know mods are a valuable offense in online. But just please don't stop supporting the modding community. And again, you're the reason why you're so awesome. And because of all your games, no wonder it gives a lot of awards from your talent. And oh, I know what you're doing, uh, Rockstar. I know what you're doing. Like you just said that you're working something for us to make modders happy. And we definitely going to see that. And, and that's it for today, guys. And thank you so much for watching. And oh, oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Almost forgot. Please, Rockstar. We want Red Dead Redemption on PC. And we've been weighing this for so long that you always focus on console rather than on PC as well. Why could you just like use three at the same time a bit, man? Three platforms. Come on. Come on, man. We wanted... We want consoles and PCs at the same time, but mostly PCs because you know I can manage to mod I can manage to like to play with a bigger experience and not only that we can manage to speed up at 60 FPS too and That's the reason why that your games are so awesome. And it's critical acclaim too, but anyways guys Thank you so much for watching and and it's really crazy why Rockstar is making a debacle out of this because it seems they're not even a threat to modders, but with other like third-party stuffs, which it cause uh GTA Online to make it bannable and causing instability, which it's not the case, man. It has nothing to do with online. And again, you're so awesome, Rockstar and Take Two. Just please, we want Open Four. We want them, man. Oh my God. And hey, make sure you like this video, you really like it, type down your comments for your opinions, share this video to your friends, and subscribe for more to be uploaded, if you haven't already. And guys, please, don't be angry at Rockstar and Take Two, they try their best. Instead of like, uh, uh, attack them, just convince them, man. That way, they'll listen to us. And I know Rockstar is a hardworking guy, and so does Take Two, because they made tons of games, like I said. I said they're awesome. Okay? And and oh guys, be safe in Tulu and hashtag save open four.